This is Proto Man of Proto Retro, and this is a video review of Dark of the Moon, DS Special Edition, Autobots, and Decepticons. Let's do it. Proto Retro. The year was 2007, and Activision released Transformers, Autobots, and Decepticons. Both were made to coincide with the Transformers movie that came out in 2007. These two games were a huge success and actually almost overshadowed uh, the other console releases of the movie games. The same was done again by Activision in 2009 for Dark of the, uh, for uh, Revenge of the Fallen, but ultimately in the end those two weren't the, as good as their predecessors. So now we come to today. These are the special edition Dark of the Moon Autobots and Decepticons. As you can notice, we get them free this time. We get a Stealth Force, RPM, Speed Stars, whatever you want to call it, of Bumblebee and Lockdown. Uh, for those that are asking right away, the Bumblebee is actually a redeco of an existing mold that's currently out in the Dark of the Moon Speed Star line, while the Lockdown is a mild redeco of what came out during Revenge of the Fallen Speed Star RPM line. So these are the two. Um, I mean, they're a little thicker than your average one, which is going to be misleading for when I get to the inside. But really cool that they went about doing this. Uh, but I think we're going to find out why with the lack of plastic. So let me open these up for you. Um, the first thing you're going to realize after you take out the figure is that there's no cartridge box at all. Now you're probably going, well, what happened? Where's the game? There's a little slot in the corner here. And they just dig it out there. Sorry. And there it is. Looks exactly like the previous ones that came out back in 2007. Simple thing. Oh, and it comes with the instruction manual, of course. But there's no actual casing for it. It's just the cartridge loose like that. Same goes for Decepticons over here. I'm just going to take out Lockdown. Just to give you an idea. So here's the two cars. Here's the Bumblebee. Very nice. Has the typical RPM thing going on at the bottom. Not as detailed as some of the past ones, but really nice. The spoiler, the whole Stealth Force gimmick going on there. And here's the Lockdown. Again, because he came from Revenge of the Fallen, he doesn't have the Stealth Force gimmick going on. He has the gold under it. He's a mild redeco of that RPM from back then. Just to show you um, a comparison for people who don't own any RPMs or Speed Stars, here's next to one of the Legion figures from Dark of the Moon, this one Top Spin. And for those who don't own those, here's a Dark of the Moon mold, but also originally was a Universe 2.0 of Rodimus. Just to give you an idea of size. They don't transform, but that's kind of a given. And I guess by putting these two little die-cast figures in, that kind of sacrificed... Uh, having that. Um, the game's not too bad, actually. Uh, I haven't beaten it yet. I've only gotten it in the past, ooh, I don't know, three hours. But it's pretty fun so far, so give it a check. And, uh, I mean, hey, you get free figures for at least retail in Canada is $29.99. I believe it's $21.99 in the States. It's a great little pack. Um, considering that the Wii version is the only other one that comes with a free toy, and it's a, just a repackage of the uh, Stealth Force Deluxe's two packs, where these are actually two unique exclusive figures. So a nice little addition. I wouldn't really call them figures though, but still pretty cool. Uh, so this is Proto Man or Proto Retro saying uh, check these two out. It's worth the price and uh, check out the PS3 version too because I'm going to be online and uh, hope to see you there. Till then, roll out.